Hey YouTubers, it's Dr. Alessandro. Welcome back to my channel. Please like and subscribe. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking with you about smokeless tobacco. So I've already spoken with you about smoking. And in this video, I'm presenting what happens to the mouth with smokeless tobacco. So as we know, uh, tobacco in general can cause cancer and, and we're all very familiar with that. Uh, but smokeless tobacco is especially dangerous because it's something, again, people don't really think about it when they're using it, uh, but it can cause changes in the mouth and, and, and rapid ones. And some of these changes may not just be temporary, uh, they may lead to cancer. And that can be a very devastating thing. So what do we see typically as dentists when we are, you know, examining a patient and we know that they use this kind of tobacco? Well, we see the staining of the teeth. Uh, tobacco will stain teeth. Uh, the other thing that tobacco can do is the smokeless tobacco. It will also cause increased cavities. Now, it's not causing it because it dries out the mouth. So this is a little bit different than smoking. What happens is typically these products have a lot of sugar. And so when somebody takes like their little chew wad and puts it in and sticks it right next to a certain part of their mouth, uh, right into like the cheek area, well, they're putting sugar and sugar acids next to their teeth, right along the gum line. And that's where we see the destruction. We see, um, you know, the, the cavities are starting right along the gum line, all where the person decides to put the smokeless tobacco. And so we see the destruction typically in that zone. Now, we also see the soft tissue changes. It almost looks like, think of the, think of the sand after a tide has rolled back out into the sea and you're on low tide, and you see all those ripples. Well, you see the same thing in a patient's mouth. You see these ripples in the tissue. They look a little bit whiter and then sometimes they change color and they become redder. Now that's where we really start to worry. When we see changes in color from white to red or a mix of white and red, that is definitely not a healthy situation. And so uh, we usually let people know and, and so at that point in time, you know, we, we say, hey, you might want to have this checked out by an oral surgeon because we don't like seeing changes in tissue uh, when they start to change from just kind of white to white to red. It's not a pleasant thing. You know, we don't like to see any change at all, period, but that's especially unpleasant. So as you can see in this picture that I'm showing you, um, here is an example of what smokeless tobacco does uh, to a person. Now, you know, this person came in, it, this, this has been here for this, this area right here that you're seeing in the picture has been here for two years and you know, it's not hurting this person. So, um, I told this person, you've got to go get this checked out by a surgeon. This is not normal. It's different. And I really don't want this to turn into something that then can't be changed. And, and then, um, you know, we're looking at something like radical surgery to fix things. Uh, so these are the things that smokeless tobacco can do. Now, the other thing, of course, is, you know, it, it makes your breath bad. It coats your tongue. You can see a person has a kind of a coated brown tongue sometimes. You know, you can smell the tobacco on the breath. Uh, so those are other things that, that smokeless tobacco does uh, in addition to being dangerous for your soft tissues and, and staining the teeth. So, so all told, these are the things that smokeless tobacco does. And this is why we just recommend that people try to quit as best they can. I do realize that they're tough habits to quit. They are, and there's no doubt about it, but we just urge people to do what they can to try to at least taper off and then quit altogether. So thanks once again for joining me on this video. I appreciate it a great deal. Please like and subscribe and hope you're all staying well and healthy.